Hey guys, there's one smartphone that's sort of flying under the radar this summer. It's got the specs and the price to be a flagship killer. So, will there be blood? I'm Will for GSM Arena, and this is our Honor 9 review. With a body of Gorilla Glass, the Honor 9 is one shiny phone. The back is curved and made of 15 different layers. The way it reflects light is pretty interesting, almost like a metallic sheen. It's totally smooth too, with no bump from the two cameras. Around the edge is a sandblasted aluminum frame, which is a bit rounded. The transition from the glass isn't seamless, but it still looks good. The phone is extremely slippery, and it tracks fingerprints, so you should probably grab a case, though it's a shame to cover up all this pretty glass. The top and bottom bezels are sort of large, so we don't have a high screen-to-body ratio. But it makes room for an always-on front fingerprint scanner, which acts as a home key. It's super fast, by the way, and surrounded by two backlit touch navigation keys. You can disable the keys and just use the fingerprint scanner for navigation, too. A tap on the surface takes you back, a longer hold takes you home, and a swipe in either left or right opens the task switcher. There's plenty of internal storage with the Honor 9, and you can expand it further through the hybrid microSD and SIM slot. At the bottom is a 3.5mm headphone jack, the USB port, and the speaker. The speaker is loud with clean and rich sound. There are no stereo speakers though. At the top is an IR blaster which you can use to control your appliances. The build seems solid and is nice looking, but there's no dust or water resistance so be careful not to spill your drink. The Honor 9 has a 5.15 inch Full HD display. It's a pretty bright LCD, with deep blacks and great contrast ratio. Sunlight legibility is very good too. Inside the Honor 9 is a Karen 960 chipset. It's the same as on Huawei's P10. In benchmark tests, it performs really well, almost at the level of the OnePlus 5. It feels snappy too, with no lag to speak of. We did see some throttling of the GPU to prevent overheating but the chipset is fast enough that this isn't noticeable outside of benchmarks. The Honor 9 has a 3200 mAh battery. Battery life is pretty good, a bit better than the LG G6, but perhaps not quite as good as the OnePlus 5. Charging gets you only a third of the battery in half an hour, so it's not terribly fast. You'll find Huawei's latest EMUI on the Honor 9, running over Android 7 Nougat with all the features carried over from the P10. You can choose to have an app drawer, or to see all apps on the home screen. And there are many themes to choose from in the theme store. A floating dock allows you to access navigation keys from on screen. There are several motion and knuckle gestures which work seamlessly, most of the time. The gallery app can organize your photos automatically by place and people. And GoPro's quick integration allows for cool video sorting and framing options. Also, Huawei Histon Sound gives you a proprietary equalizer and 3D audio options when you plug in headphones. The Honor 9's dual camera setup is the same as the P10's. It has a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor and a 12 megapixel color sensor, both with an f2.2 aperture. For color photos, the high res monochrome takes information about the detail, and the other sensor provides the color info. Together, they make a very high quality picture with a lot of detail natural textures, little noise, and great dynamic range. On their own, the black and white shots have excellent detail and contrast, and higher dynamic range than the color ones. The autofocus wasn't as reliable though, and there's no manual mode for the monochrome camera, unlike on the P10. In low light, the cameras do a great job, regardless of whether you're shooting in black and white or color. The camera lacks OAS though, so shooting at nighttime might not be its strong point. Together, the two cameras work to create a 2 times optical zoom with little to no loss in quality. You can also take a moving picture. A short 3 second video gets captured along each photo, almost like a GIF. There is a portrait mode which uses the two cameras information to produce a blurred background behind the subject. It works nicely, sometimes producing really good results. You can take portrait shots with the 8 megapixel selfie cam too. With this camera though, it's more of a hit or miss. There's no autofocus, but normal selfies turn out great, with nice detail, dynamic range, and colors. As for video, the Honor 9 can record in 4K at 30 frames per second. It's sharp and detailed, with good contrast and pleasing colors, but there is some visible noise. 1080p videos are okay, but with noticeable oversharpening. 
they do have the option for electronic image stabilization, which isn't there for 4K video. The Honor 9 is a really impressive package. For 450 bucks, you get a great chipset, battery life, and camera, and tons of software features with the MUI. There are a few things we're left wishing for, like water resistance. The chipset and the screen could be better, and we always appreciate stereo speakers. But overall, it's definitely a strong competitor against the OnePlus 5 and even the most expensive flagships. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stop by our written review at gsmarina.com.